This investigative program contains graphic descriptions of violence and themes of loss and distress, which some viewers may find upsetting. March 7th, 2018. 30-year-old Georgina Garcella goes missing after leaving her seaside home. She just disappeared in broad daylight. None of her friends or family have heard from her since. We are becoming increasingly concerned about Georgina's well-being. How did we get from sort of missing to murder? The police suspect foul play, but does a flawed investigation miss crucial leads? That could well be the last person to see Georgina alive. Could the underworld hold vital clues? She was travelling in the company of very dangerous and ruthless people. And can anyone solve the continuing mystery of what happened to Georgina? I often drive past and see the pictures and I often say, where are you? God damn it, where are you? I'm on my way to Worthing on the south coast of England to investigate the disappearance of Georgina Garcella. And I'm heading straight into an open, active inquiry. Today, it's only memories of her that remain. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, it's everywhere. The posters of Georgina. £5,000 reward. Georgina was of dual English and Arab heritage. She spent her early years in Libya, but had lived on the south coast since she was 10. What sort of person was she? And was there anything going on in her life that can help me unravel the mystery? Hello. How you doing? I've arranged to meet her mum, Andrea. You've got some photos? Yeah. Have, yeah. have a look at them. Gina, as a baby. Oh, wow. Probably two, How old? two or three days old. Two or three days. Wow, you look gorgeous. I mean, just had a baby. What was she like as a little girl? Cheeky. OK. She was um, very friendly, um, very loving. It was one of those little girls that warmed to everybody. And Georgina would often come home from school with a, a kitten in her pocket. A kitten? Yeah. She was compassionate. Georgina grew into a more mischievous naughty girl, um, but she was lovable. Did Georgina have any personal struggles? Georgina was suffered from bulimia. She did have issues with sort of binge drinking. She didn't know when to stop. Right. And that's why she did find it difficult to hold a job. When was the last time that you saw her? The last time I saw Georgina was on the morning of the 7th of March, about 10 to 8 in the morning. She told me about her phone. It wasn't working. And I was in a hurry, getting ready for work. She gave me a kiss on the cheek. I love you, love your mummy. And then that was it. When did you start to worry? I didn't come back until half nine. Looked just sort of past the bedroom and she wasn't there. And I thought, oh, she's had the boyfriend. So it was, it was quite normal for her to be out and stay out? She'd stay out for a few days, but she's an adult. Right, OK. But then I said, well, she's got no phone, has she? She obviously didn't get the phone fixed. I think about four days, five days, then... It oh, was, five days. It was like, shall we try and contact her friends. I think by sort of six days, the boyfriend rang and he just said, oh, was George there? And I said, no, I thought she was with you. He said, I haven't seen her. What was that relationship like? They split up because the relationship had been up and down, hadn't been going well. So in that moment when he said to you he hadn't seen her, then I what was going My in instant thought was, should we just ring hospitals in case she's had an accident? We still didn't think, like, ring the police, she's missing. It didn't, it just didn't, just didn't go into our minds. Shortly afterwards, her increasingly worried family did involve the police. Ten days on, they began looking into her personal life to see if there was anything that could account for her disappearance. 